probably heard the slang from Grover Norquist that he believes we should shrink government to the size when, that you can drown it in a bathtub. Ooh. But I'm here to tell you, we, we kind of misunderstand Grover when he says that. You see, as Will says, I grew up in the 1%. I grew up in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. I went to high school with Mitt Romney. I grew up in a town of people from the 1%. So did Grover Norquist. He grew up in Weston, Massachusetts, the most affluent town in, in Massachusetts. Listen, where I grew up, the houses are big, the pools are big, the rooms are big, the bathtubs are big. <laughs> so all I'm saying is when he says drown in the bathtub, you don't have to worry. The tub is much bigger than you can imagine. <laughs> all right, listen, the reason we're here is everybody else. <laughs> There's something wrong with that. And what yeah. Grover has done is help make sure that that tax system for the privileged stays intact. And every year lobbies to make it more and more unfair. As Will said, yesterday the Senate voted to thwart the will of the majority and shut off debate on the Buffett rule. A very simple proposal. People who earn over a million dollars should pay at least 30% of their income in taxes. At least? Yeah! Yes! Well, yes! 70% yes. 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 of the U.S. public supports that. Yeah. yeah. The majority in the Senate supports it. Yeah. yeah. And yet, we will not have that rule become the law of the land. Boo. Because of the organizing efforts of people like Grover Norton. So my Senator Scott Brown took the pledge. Boo. He took Grover's pledge to not pay, to not raise taxes on anybody, even millionaires. But think about this, over the, the last 10 years, all these people who've taken this pledge, we've waged two expensive wars. We've, we've cut capital gains taxes to 15%. We've, we've borrowed a trillion dollars to give people, the rich the Bush tax cuts. And yet we can't raise taxes on the wealthy? It's an outrage. It's an outrage. Here's my closing joke. The CEO of ExxonMobil and Grover Norquist and Joe the plumber and a teacher are sitting down and there's 12 fresh baked cookies on the table. And the CEO of ExxonMobil eats 11 of them. And Grover turns to Joe the plumber and says, look out for that teacher. She wants your cookie. <laughs> Don't let Grover Norquist divide and conquer us. We are not broke. No. No. I want to hear you chant with me. We, we are, are not broke. broke. We are not broke. We are not broke. Let me tell you, where's the money to come from? We can reverse the Bush tax cuts. Yeah. yeah. A trillion dollars over the next 10 years. Yeah. We can close the offshore tax haven system. Yeah. A trillion dollars over the next 10 years. Woo. We can tax capital gains and wealth at the same rate as work. Yeah. It's yeah. another 100 billion a year. Woo. We are not broke. We are not broke. We are not broke. We are not broke. We are not broke.